Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 30th through May 6th. So basically for the first week of May. This is for Taurus. You need to stand up for yourself defend yourself perhaps that was the seven of wands I just looked at stand your ground Taurus what does Taurus need to know for this first week of May generally my readings are love readings so we will see what comes up So, all right, so there's, there's a, you have a lot of people in your life this week, okay? There, I mean, we have the Knight of Cups reversed, the King of Swords reversed, the Queen of Wands upright, and the High Priestess. We also have the Six of Wands reversed. Somebody that you're dealing with has hidden agendas, okay? Uh, they have secrets, all right, somebody has some secrets here, and you may be feeling like you don't want to move on with them, okay? You may feel like there's no growth if you have secrets, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It looks like you guys are, you know, there's, there's a, a lack of victory here, okay? with somebody that is keeping secrets. There's no success, all right? And so somebody may feel like, you know, we can't, we can't keep going on like this. We can't. This doesn't lead to any, any relationship growth if you're keeping something from me. Um, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is about confidence, strength, passion. So, you know, you guys are probably full of it. You're full of it this week. Maybe you're looking very attractive, feeling very attractive, or you could be dealing with a fire sign. But you're probably, you know, not going to put up with anybody's shit, put it that way. Uh, Four of Swords reversed. Page of Wands. I feel like there's some there's an element of excitement this week, even though in the, you know I feel like at one point you know there's a lack of victory success with one situation in your life. You're pretty excited about what the future holds. It's like you're you feeling alive. So maybe you come to this conclusion at the beginning of the week, or maybe at the end of April that. I'm letting that go. There's no relationship growth there. This person's too secretive. They they didn't they didn't tell me the truth anyway. You know, I'll, they just wanted to harm me. They criticized me too much. I've come to the realization that I don't need that in my life. I'm not gonna let that let that um, loss hold me back. Maybe you just come to the grips with it, and you're like, "Whew, the fire is really." That kind of thing. Because that's what it looks like to me. I think there's been some sort of realization here that something is done. It's done. There's no more. It's over. There's no more relationship growth here. That doesn't serve me. It didn't lead to victory and success. I'm over it. I'm over it. This high priestess reversed is, you know, you probably went through a period of loss of self. And repression. But it feels like now, with these cards, there's a, uh, a, a new excitement, uh, a new passion. It's like, woo, I feel alive again. And you know, when you let go of something that was holding you back, when you stop criticizing yourself or when you stop letting somebody criticize you, 
things change very quickly. So it feels like somebody has regained their focus and their their passion. That's what it looks like. It looks like there's a new exciting opportunity and I feel alive. I feel alive after realizing that there was no victory and success somewhere. Whew. Yeah, it's a, it's a time of freedom. It's a time of liberation. And that's exactly what this is with the Ten of Swords. It's like, I feel good. I feel good. I feel like for some of you, you've been holding on to some dead end, something that was dead. And it had been holding you back. And that's what's been going on. There's something that has been dead. You've been holding on to something. Fear of change. And it was only harming you. It was. And now you've come to the point where there's got to be more than this. There's got to be. And it feels like there's a new element of excitement because I think the difficult, the difficult times are over. You know, the difficult period that you went through is over. Okay? I feel like with this Three of Cups reversed... There was nothing to celebrate by staying stuck where there was no growth. So what do you do? What do you do at that point? You either cry about it or you look at it as a time of personal freedom. You look at it through a different perspective. Either I sit here and I cry about it and I feel sad and wallow in my own self-pity and have no fun, whatever. Feel empty inside. Or I look at this through the eyes of freedom. I'm free. Somebody has brought back their vibrancy. They've brought back their attractiveness. They're feeling proud and determined and forceful and confident and passionate. And they're taking the lead to start anew. You're going to really need to try to stay focused during this time because it feels like there's so much excitement that you could you make some impulsive moves, okay? Just, just try to keep it in check, okay? Because these are both very exciting cards, full of it, full, like I said, full of it. But when you've been feeling down for so long and feeling feeling that repression, feeling taken advantage of and criticized and held back, when you finally relight that fire within you, it's it's overpowering. So I feel like that like this is what has happened. You know, there's a feeling of I'm free, I'm happy, I'm smiling. After you have held on to something that has been dead, perhaps for a while, you know, a dead end, a dead end relationship. You guys are headed for, you're, this is a chariot. You're moving forward very quickly. You're mastering your emotions. I've mastered my emotions to bring success to my life. And I'm, I'm, I'm running, running with these two cards and this card and this card, you guys are on fire. You're on fire. It's like you are heading, heading in the right direction at full speed. It's like 
There, you are a force to be reckoned with this week. Be careful not to lose your focus. Because impulsiveness could bring you something insecure. You could end up dealing with somebody that has hidden agendas if you get too excited and don't look at all the facts, per se. Really think about, because I see easy distraction. This is an easy distraction. Be careful what you get mixed up with because whoever you're dealing with could have hidden agendas and lead to something that isn't solid. Okay? But you guys are headed someplace at full speed. And there's no stopping you. If anybody gets in your way, they could get hurt. <laughs> she's got an arrow and she's going to shoot it. Um, you could be dealing with a air sign for sure Aries Leo Sagittarius we do have cancer here like I said I already said them um, but there's a feeling of togetherness working as a team getting out there communicating you may be making some compromises at this time making some plans for the future. You know, I feel like you guys are being tested in some way as well. Communication could come in this week. Maybe from an air sign. Maybe from an earth sign. Could be from a cancer. There is some sort of communication that could be coming in. And it's something that you've been waiting for. Um... It really feels like you guys have to really be clear on what you're doing because there's an overwhelming feeling of excitement, you know. So sometimes when you move too fast, you could get hurt. So just uh, make sure that you are looking at some situation or a person through, you know, with through all angles, put it that way. Okay, make sure they're stable, make sure they're secure, make sure you're not um, being impulsive and making the wrong choice. It feels like, you know, with this, this Knight of Pentacles, this is be patient, slow down, be solid and practical with your approach. Even though you're full of fire and you're running forward, you're headed in the right direction, you're taking the lead, you've found your mental strength, you've let go of something abusive, you're feeling liberated, and you're feeling on cloud nine, don't let your eagerness, your eagerness for togetherness, companionship, lead you astray with the wrong person, okay? Slow down. Is this practical? Ask yourself, is this person practical? Is this person solid? Am I seeing this clearly? Is this just lust, per se, you know? Be careful with your decisions because with all this excitement and all this passion, it's easy to be impulsive and make the wrong decisions. This is a test. The Knight of Pentacles is my test card. You are being tested. All right, you're being tested. From what you've learned in the past, your skills... Our, your skills are being tested. Oh my goodness. So, this is perfect. Okay, this is perfect. Ace of Cups, upright. Ace of Wands, reversed. Then we have the Eight of Swords. 
reversed. Make sure somebody's not lying to you. Make sure you're not doing this just for passion, lust. I mean, the Ace of Wands reversed. Will this lead to growth? Will this lead to something solid? With the Ace of Wands reversed, it doesn't look like it could lead to anything stable and secure. Anything... Exciting. The Ace of Cups says, are you going to choose love? Are you looking for love or are you looking for... Lust. What are you looking for? You have a choice here. What are you going to do? There's an opportunity for love perhaps coming in, but choose wisely. That's what I'm trying to say. So there could be a new opportunity that comes in because you have decided to let go of a harmful situation. And now you're so excited for this new opportunity that you want to make sure that you choose right. You want to choose right, okay? Make sure that you're not... mentally conflicted here okay make sure that you're seeing things clearly make sure that you are not being lied to okay so just really you're gonna you know because when you feel that that lit you know when you when you feel that excitement sometimes you you put on those rose colored glasses so I'm just telling you to just take them off okay make sure you're seeing things clearly Make sure you are absolutely looking at this, whoever it is that comes into your life from all angles, because you're not looking for lust, you're looking for love. Right? Lust, love. You could be tricked. You could be dealing with somebody that is very, very cunning and deceptive. And it could end in disaster. This is the tower. You have the magician reversed with the tower. Be careful. While you're feeling excited about finding new love, which is great. It's great to have that excitement about new love. But when, you, when you're that excited, people can see your vulnerability. Okay? So, keep in mind that you could come across somebody that is very cunning, deceptive, sexy. And it's a false foundation and could lead to disaster. And you could be left feeling very unhappy with what just happened. <laughs> okay? The Four of Cups. So just, just take a step back. And open your eyes while you're out there having fun. Because it could lead to a lot of discontent, hurt, brooding, mm -hmm. and unhappiness. So you could be dealing with somebody this week that is only out to use you sexually. I'm going to cut right to the chase. They see your beauty. They see your attractiveness. They see the fire lit within you. They see that you're out there and you're ready and you're having fun. And they swoop in, cunning as ever, to sweep you off your feet for one night.
Be careful, Taurus. It's great to be excited and it's great to feel good, but don't let people take advantage of you. That'll only bring you down in the end and it will bring you down. With the Four of Cups next to the tower, it will bring you down. Remember when I looked, we saw the Seven of Wands? And here it is on the bottom again. Amazing. Stand your ground. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend your body. Defend your soul. Defend your boundaries. Be careful this week. I think it's an air sign. Prefer well not preferably, but what I see is, is mostly a Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Taurus, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a fire sign too. Could be any sign. Alright. But I feel like um because we do have them all. We do. So I feel like you are being tested this week. You are being tested of your self-love. Okay? You're being tested of your te what else? Jeez, I'm crying. I can't even talk. Your um, ability to see things from, see the reality of things is being tested with this Queen of Swords. And like I said, that Knight of Pentacles is a test to me. You're being tested to see what you're worth, basically. Your worth is being tested. Can you be patient? There's an opportunity for love here. There is. But it could be false love, I have to tell you. False, false foundation, false love. Especially with that Knight of Cups reversed. Beware. Somebody is very, very cunning. And handsome. Divine timing. Divine. Be patient. That's why I said, I wondered why that happened. Be patient. Everything happens at the right time. Don't be in a hurry. And I see that you are. You're in a hurry to find it. You're in a hurry to find love. Sit back and wait for the right one. Continue working on that passion within you. Continue working on your self, your courage, your confidence, your self-esteem. Continue to be excited, but don't let impulsiveness hurt you. Okay? So I feel like my, my message for this week is be careful with any new prospects that come into your life because they could have hidden agendas that are purely based on lust. Be patient and wait. Wait for the right one. You'll know when the right, right one comes in. Because they won't be in a hurry. So I guess that's what I have for this week. First week of May. Be careful. Talk to you later.